Hey everybody and welcome to Marvel Champions Experience. Alright, today we are giving you a five minute review on Miles Morales, aka Spider-Man. Alright, so these reviews are short, sweet, to the point, right? They are meant to just go over the basic kit of the hero. I'm not going over anything else because you can play in any aspect you want, right? And this is just to help you make the decision on if you want to pick him up, right? I know you got to pick up Sinister Motives to get him anyway, but he's. let's see if he's worth it. Let's see if he's worth putting some money into Sinister Motives. So I'm going to do my best to be get him done in five minutes, and I'm on the clock. All right, Miles Morales. You have a nine hit point and six hand size start, right? <clears throat> you have four recovery. That four recovery is really, really good. Response, after you change this form, shuffle one Spider-Man card from your discard pile into your deck. Really, really nice skill there, but you gotta be able to flip them to do that, right? Two, two, uh, two thwart, two attack, two defense, amazing line, really solid. This is great. You know, he can do just a bit of everything. Very good. So this is where he gets cool. He has two abilities, Venom Blast, which deals two damage to an enemy and stun that enemy, and Spider Camouflage, give him a tough status card and confuse an enemy. Now, if you're wondering how these gets triggered, he has his abilities to trigger them, okay? All right, so let's take a look on what he does. All right, first we have Jefferson Davis. He's a two-cost support. This is debatably the worst card in the game, like all of the game. So this is an alter ego action, and you exhaust Jefferson Davis and remove one threat from the scheme with the least threat there. Two-cost support. I mean, two cost, yeah, two cost support that only works in alter ego, and it removes threat from the scheme with the least threat. Awful. It's it's really bad. I use this as fodder all the time. Genki Lee. Now, I'm not a personal fan of flipping a lot if I don't have to, but this is pretty good if you like to flip. You exhaust Genki Lee and draw one card. If you're in hero form, you discard a card, but if you're not in hero form, you keep the card. So um, this always lets you draw a card. And you get to either keep it or discard it. Double life. This is really cool. So you got two copies of this. One cost event, right? You can only use this once per round. You change your form. And if you paid for this using a physical resource, you ready your identity. So you can, like, let's say you're, it's the start of the turn. And you're you're here in, um, it's the start of the turn. You're in hero form. You can just use your normal flip to Miles Morales. Heal. Play double life. Flip back. And ready. Really great card. And you got two of those. All right. Now let's get into those special abilities. The power within, which is a one cost upgrade. After your hero uses a basic power, discard this and resolve the Venom Blast. Two damage and stun that enemy. All right. Um, sorry. I wanted this one next. Then we have defense mechanism, which is a one cost upgrade. After your hero uses a basic power, discard this, resolve the spider camouflage ability. Use a basic power. After that, give him a tough and confuse the enemy. Then, so since you can see that he can stun and confuse a lot, one cost event, deal two damage. If the enemy is stunned or confused, deal an additional three damage to them. Sick. One cost for up to five damage? Ridiculous. Then we have two copies of Swinging In. Two cost event. You remove four threat from a scheme. If you paid for this using a mental resource, resolve the spider camouflage ability. So remove four threat and then give him a tough status and confuse the enemy. Shut up. All right. You know where this is going. It's the opposite way. You got three copies of web shot. Two cost event, right? Deal four damage to an enemy. If you paid for this using an energy resource, resolve the venom blast. Deal two damage and stun the enemy. This dude has five cards that will let you, sorry, five plus the two upgrades. He has uh, seven cards, literally half of his kit, that will let you stun and confuse the enemy, not including whatever you put in on your own with whatever aspect you choose. Oh, you're worried that you need an energy resource and a mental resource? No worries. He's got the web shooter, which gives you three counters and you can generate a wild resource. This dude is kitted out like crazy he's insane he's really really good you know he can do just a bit about everything i can see him fitting into basically every single aspect and doing tremendous aside from sinister motives being awesome 
he's easily worth the price of admission. Maz Morales, insane hero. Thank you.